Hello everyone! Welcome to the 24 tutorial to beginner's guide on how to Revit. So, continuing where we left off last video, this turn we'll be doing roofs. So, to get started, let's first go to architecture. Here in the roof, let's use the first and easiest one, which is the extrusion. So, let's go ahead and click this one. Pick a plane. Let's use this face right here. Simply click a level. I'm going to choose second floor. Leave offset as zero. I'm going to press OK. Change to front view. Choose a line. Let's make maybe a circular one. Half pipe, for example, like this. Do it like here. And this is the one we have. Generic roof at 400 millimeter thickness. Let's use this one. Now if I press finish here, you'll see what's going to happen. There's our roof. Does it look fit, doesn't it? So for now, let's delete that and use the other one, which is also much more easier, but it looks a lot better. So again, delete this. Go to first floor. This one. Let's change the visual style to realistic. This to fine. Let's remove these sections that we have. Okay, now go into roof and use roof by footprint. Now we got a big line, choose an offset, let's say 400. Pick the edge of the wall here. You can either start from the plaster or from the brick wall. I'm going to go ahead and use the brick wall instead and make sure that the offset will be aiming outside like this. Next goes through here. Now let's do the other faces here and the last one here. Okay, and you notice we have here an angle slope saying that it's 30 degrees. You can actually change this so it will portray much better in the 3D for now. Let's go ahead and finish this. There it is, going back to 3D. Our level offset is wrong, so let's fix that and put it into second floor, which is this one. Okay, there it is. See how the slopes become 30 degree and the distance it has from the wall is 400 millimeter. Now let's maybe change one side into 10 degree only, for example. Let's use the front one. Go back to first floor. Sorry. Click 3D. Edit footprint. From here, we can actually do it. Click this line. Go to properties palette in the dimension parameter. Let's change this to 10 degrees. Click apply and finish. Look at the difference. Now it looks bad, so let's make it 40 this time. Edit footprint. Click the line. Also, you can make it to zero instead, and let's see the difference. Doesn't work. Let's do this again from the start. There it is. So this is what happens when you make it into zero. Okay, now let's put it back to 30 degrees now. Click the line, take the defined slope parameter and click finish. Let's increase this a little bit. There we go. Now let's do the roof for the garage. Going back to first floor, go back to roof, roof by footprint, use a pick line. The offset will be 300 this time. Starting from the brick wall here. Do the other sides. Now just trim each line. And this area, since it's beside the wall, there's no need for this to have a slope. So 
just click that and finish and take off the defined roof slope there now let's finish and see what's gonna look like okay looking good let's fix our main roof for now and add an offset to it back to first floor edit footprint let's just move this to 400 same goes for the other side Okay, so now let's add a material to both of it. Simply click the roof here in the properties palette. Look for the material parameter. It's not showing here. Go to edit type. Here. All right, so let's change this to something befitting of our roof material. Let's use this roof tiling. Okay, and apply. There it is. Now our roof is looking pretty much decent. Now, let's add a gutter to it. Back to architecture, roof. Here, we have three choices, either soffit, fascia, or gutter. Now, how this works is very similar to the sweep, pro sweep profile in model in place in component. So now, let's give soffit a try first. We can change this later, but since we already know the level, let's make it second floor. Now all you gotta do is pick one of the roof edges. Let's start here. Let's do this and finish it. There. Looks like the square sketch needs to be closed off. There it is. There is the soffit. I know it doesn't look like much, but if I were to increase the base level of the roof, we're going to see some difference. Now, Let's give the other roof options a try. Let's delete this. Let's try Fascia next. So I guess it's simple like this. It's just like cover or a plate going for the edge of the roof. Next, let's try the gutter, which is the one we're actually going to be using. Back to roof. Roof gutter. Now. Click the edges. There we go. Let's try the other roof on the first floor. Okay, looking good. Now let's add, attach a material to it. Go to edit profile here in the material parameter. Click the ellipsis button. Let's use something brass or a metal. Copper should be good. Okay, now let's finish that and apply. There. Now let's fix this area. Okay, I guess that's it. Nothing else to finish further. Now let's try to apply a kind of a design to our roof just to make it more interesting. Go back to roof, roof extrusion, pick a plane. Let's pick this side here. And let's make a square one here or rectangle like this okay. 
There we go. I know it doesn't look like much, but well, it's already a design. Why don't we go ahead and copy the arch here as well? There, join that. As long as we don't see it here, it doesn't look bad. Let's fix that later. For now, let's add the half pipe here as well. Go back to roof. Extrusion, same. Let's click this plane here. Like this should be good. There. I wonder if I do another here, it will accept it. Unfortunately, no. Has to be only one sketch, so let's copy paste this and make another one. Okay, now let's just decrease the length here. Of course, always join the elements and that's it. Does it look like much, but it's a design. So I guess, okay, that's it. Now we've finished the roof. In the next video, maybe we will try doing the generic model, sorry, the model in place, which is here. And let's add some architrave on this door here. Add some floors on this area and some railing just to add a design. And we're almost done. Okay, that's it. So for questions and suggestions, please do comment below. And if you find this tutorial helpful, you can support me by liking and subscribe. Thank you very much, guys. I'll see you in the next video.